here this morning, special occasion, to honor and recognize one of our own from the class of uh, 2004, Max Unger. I don't feel right. Uh, 
the UPI jam took me on the Clay Field Airport on the handouts, which was fun. Um, <laughs> and then to Mr. White, also on the math teacher. Um, this guy is just, you know, do so much, uh, you know, my credit just for everything they did for me in the classroom on the football field. Uh, you know, he got my head screwed on straight. Uh, it was, you know, kind of trailing off a little bit. So a huge thank you to you. Um, coach Burns, uh, who's not here, uh, the best line coach anybody could ask for. Had her my game after and currently, and uh, just thought me just pure grit and toughness. Uh, so thank you to him. Uh, Chad Cameron, uh, he was my advisor uh, for four years here, as long as my dorm, uh, as well as my dorm head. Um, and that's here, so make sure you say hi to him for me. Um, you know, a very close friend of mine who I still keep in touch with and uh, lives in Michigan now. He comes out to a handful of games uh, with him in the Midwest. Uh, to my wife, Leah, uh, who's just been a post who's had to endure uh, countless football seasons so far. Um, it's my mom and dad who have, you know, watched me play football from Oregon to Seattle to Dallas to, you know, the Super Bowl in New York, but, I mean, we're talking, you know, 7 o'clock night kickoffs in Pahala. I mean, that's dedication. <laughs> you know? So thank you very much. And uh, also, Sal Shiro, you know, for just making me play her all the time. That builds character. So, <laughs> right on, dude. Um, but yeah, you know, everybody's, you know, coming up to me and asking about what, what it took to, you know, win the championship and what's the key to your success. Um, there really isn't one, I mean, to be honest with you. Everybody, you know, is so much different than the, if there was an accepted way to do it, right? Um, the world that we live in is kind of like the Madden, you know, creative player almost. You're really good at some things and you, you know, obviously you're going to be deficient in others. Um, Coach Carroll does a great job um, kind of dealing with this and focusing on what we do well. And so people ask us, I say, well, what do you do well? Focus on I mean, that's something that we take a lot of pride in, not making stuff up even before you do very well. Um, the other kind of part of this is, uh, you know, I'm very lucky also. I mean, I was gifted with, you know, the genetics and uh, just the talent. Um, all that stuff aside, you know, because there's always going to be somebody more talented than you, and there's always going to be somebody that's more lucky than you. Well, that can't be an excuse for, you know, avoiding or not attaining your goals, right? And so the thing that I have done is found something that I'm incredibly passionate about. I love football. It's been that way, you know, since high school. I mean, uh, a lot of people can, you know, say that for me. Um, I got to college, and uh, it's, you know, live, you know, everything I do on the field is for the benefit of me from football. I'm very lucky. That's easy, though. It's easy to find something that you're passionate about, right? The hard thing is putting in the work, and that is where you make your mind, to be honest with you. Um, this is something that uh, you can't avoid, and there's no way to go around it. Um, old school work ethic um, is, is really all it is. Thank you guys. If you have any questions, uh, you know, any of these guys can get a hold of me. Um, and so we can talk, contact any of these guys, and, and I'll be around. I'd love to answer any questions you guys have. Thank you so much to everybody. I really appreciate it.